Hi everyone! Today I wanted to talk about how Roman small watercolors have improved my skills in the past few months, which consequently led to elevating my art. Many of you may know that I have been here on YouTube for over three years. My content being predominantly watercolor related things, specifically comparisons with not much emphasis on my own art. Between work and stressful daily home life, I've always had little time to paint. And needing to hide is a whole nother layer of added stress. But what has kept me here on YouTube is the great community that all of you are also a part of. My watercolor fairy has definitely been a big part of why I'm able to make so much content for you all. But sometimes I feel like receiving those big brands of paints just make me feel afraid to use them up. And I'm sure we've all felt this at one point or another as well. Throughout my journey, I've also never really liked earth colors. They just felt like browns, like varying shades of brown, and I wasn't really into that. It wasn't until I got my hands on Roman small earth colors, and that completely changed the game for me. They don't feel like browns or muted muddy colors. I feel like each one of them is earthy in its own way and has so much character. I really feel like I'm painting with dirt, and that's absolutely what I want. Ever since then, I've been sort of collecting Roman small earth colors. I know, what a turnaround, right? Fast forward to earlier this year, a very kind subscriber sent me a Jackson's gift card to get whatever I wanted. This was around my birthday, so I decided to splurge on getting my signature palette's colors, all from Roman small, which led to this little palette here. As you can see, I've used a good amount from these, especially from the top row up here. This is probably the first time in a long time that I've hit pan so quickly in so many colors of the same palette. I've been really enjoying practicing loose floral paintings in this Cotty fat book. Check out my review on that if you haven't already, linked below. Anyway, the colors are just so so beautiful to paint with. I know I've said in past color and or pigment comparison videos that Roman small paints seemed to have some whiteness to them compared to other brands, but after having used them in actual paintings, I have discovered that they dry transparent and the aforementioned milkiness isn't an issue at all. They're just as transparent as other watercolors, and so wonderfully vibrant. Of course, the typical opaque colors like cobalts and earths are still on the opaque side, which is normal across all brands. I've been using them to paint my Introducing Thailand series over on Instagram, and I must say, these Roman small watercolors are so wondrous to use. Because of its honey content, I'm able to re-wet and pick up paint so easily and quickly. That's pretty much a given for most honey-based paints. However, what I found intriguing was that these paints would also dry fairly quickly in my hot and humid environment here in Thailand, making it convenient for me to store away safely without the worry of mold growing in the palette. These are the colors currently in my palette. Green isn't a favorite color of mine, but I found autumn green to be such a versatile color and so so natural. I'll definitely need to buy more once I run out. And a surprising new favorite of mine is Naples Yellow Deep made with PBR24. I use this as a brighter earth yellow color to mix with Quin Cherry Red. The combination is just perfect to illustrate these olden Thai architectural structures. Since I mix it so often, I did some looking around and got this Ginger Red Rudy to start with. With Roman Schmal's extensive range of earth colors, I'm bound to find the perfect one for me. I also noticed I rarely reached for any of these magical colors down here, so I think I'm going to be putting them in a separate, smaller palette for specific monochromatic color studies. I already like the colors on their own, so it's just a matter of finding a good use for them. Since I'm already raving about Roman small stuff, I might as well mention these two new brushes. I initially just got this one because I'm sure we could all agree that it's an interesting one with springy synthetic fibers in the center and squirrel hair around the perimeter. But I went back onto Jackson's to get this one, the Pure Squirrel Mop Brush. 
Turns out, it's got a very pointy tip that I could paint details with, but also has the slightest spring to it, which is different from other squirrel brushes that are just floppy in general with no spring. I believe this is because black squirrel hair was used to make these Roman small brushes, whereas my other squirrel brushes were made with blue or Kazan squirrel hair. All in all, I've had so much joy from painting with these Roman small Aquarius colors that it's made me realize sometimes you just need to find the right products that click with you. And it just so happened that these clicked with me. I honestly can't wait for when his watercolor tubes will be available because I certainly have a list started already. Do you? Well, that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.